Irma Gertsen has been an inspired and inspiring leader at the Nordic Heritage Museum. She is a tenacious person who really stands up for what she believes is going to be the best for our museum or whatever cause she is involved in. My grandma has had an incredible life. She's traveled all over the world, um, from Ballard Hospital to Pittsburgh to Russia, Iceland, and makes a point of really seeing the world and exposing herself to other cultures, and I think that that has contributed to her empathy for people. I was born in Kenmare, North Dakota, on my grandparents' farm, and um, I had, I think, a very happy childhood. This is my father and my mother when they were, my father when he came from Denmark, and my mother when she went to Dana College. My father was a great source for me. He always told me that I could do anything I wanted as long as I put my mind to it and I would work hard. So that's been a source of my inspiration all my years. We came to the West Coast, Enumclaw, and I lived there until I was 16, at which time my father took a church down in Salem, Oregon. We went to a private school there, and that is where I met my husband, the love of my life, Don, and started to raise a family. I went into nursing school after high school because I had looked about at being doctors, but the women weren't doctors in those days. It was almost impossible for a woman to get into medical school. And I went on to nursing, which I enjoyed. I worked at Ballard Hospital as an operating room nurse and became a supervisor and then became a director of nursing. From there, I was recruited to Providence Hospital where I was the nursing administrator. I went from there to the University of Washington and became the first woman to lead a major teaching hospital in this country. I remember going to my first meeting of the CEOs of the hospitals and I walked in the room and there were two secretaries and me. And I walked in and I could see the some of the men thinking, oh, let's see now, what are we gonna do with her, you know? It wasn't hard. I've always been able to get along with the males. I think I learned that playing baseball. From there, I was recruited to McGee Women's Hospital in Pittsburgh, a University of Pittsburgh hospital, and I served there for 15 years, where I built a new hospital and a new research institute. While I was there, the government came to me and asked me if I would consider building a Western-style birthing house in Moscow, Russia. It was the early 90s, and I did do that. We did build one. It was like birthing an elephant. We ended up with 24 sites in Russia, also two in Ukraine, so it became a very large program. This is a whole bunch of stuff from Russia. Oh, uh, there's pictures in here of Ms. me with Mrs. Clinton and Mrs. Gorbachev, if that's of any interest. When Irma retired, we were incredibly lucky to get her to join us on the Board of Trustees at the Nordic Heritage Museum. She became our president and has been that now for quite some time and has seen us through the process we are in of expanding our lives here at the museum by building a new home downtown Ballard. So there are some of us who probably think we're kidding ourselves that we're going to be able to raise enough money for a new one, but Irma won't give up. It's, uh, it's just in her nature. We might say her bulldog nature, perhaps, that uh, this thing is going to succeed. Irma continually demonstrates her commitment to the museum and her optimism for the capital campaign and the project. Our goal is really within grasp at this point, and it's really remarkable to have seen how Irma has worked through this entire campaign tirelessly. But I think she is the ideal person for a few years as president. She's very good with people and she has a lot of knowledge in business and that's probably the main thing you really need for success for presidency. 
my father and my mother both would have been um, very proud of me doing this. It's really good to be able to support and foster continuing development of the heritage of the various countries. It's so much of it disappears from our lives and, and we don't get the opportunity to really know where did we come from, what made us what, who we are, etc. I know people kind of probably like to avoid me because I keep reminding them we need their money. But I'm very confident that we're going to be able to shake some of these bucks loose and get this thing done going. I've done lots of ribbon cuttings building hospitals, but I am hopefully that I'm around and able to be on that line when I have that scissors and they cut the, that ribbon because uh, that will be a great source of satisfaction for me. Well, Irma, I appreciate what you brought to this museum. You brought skill and expertise that we needed at a crucial point in this museum's history. And I know we're all indebted to you for that. Um, thank you, Irma, for your fantastic leadership. It's been a joy working here um, with you and alongside you. You've been a wonderful mentor and a great confidant. I don't think um, the success we've witnessed here at the museum would be possible without your great leadership. Grandma, you have so much more life ahead of you, and I can't wait for the times to come and the times to share together because every moment I have with you, I cherish, and every moment you've spent taking care of me and Andrea and my mom, I'm just gonna always be so grateful for, and I love you.